Alrighty, I have a construction update here for you guys today. So Tundra Twister has done um, four full rotations in one go. So in this video, you're going to see Tundra Twister go uh, full force for four full turns around the <laughs> the gondola or whatever you call it, the support. Um, that was pretty cool, to be honest, driving into the park and catching that. Sorry, I'm just having a really rough day, so I apologize if I sound really out of it. Um, outside of that, um, right after this cycle, they went back to just programming like tiny little swings. I've been really confused about the process of programming Tundra Twister. It, it seems really long and lengthy, and at some points there's like next to nothing going on, but again, I'm not a programmer. I don't design rides and then build the ride so i have no idea you know they could be doing a very important process and it could look like nothing but it's like the most important part um but outside of that yeah tundra twister um is definitely doing more than it was a couple days ago um but waiting for it to do its full cycle has been a very lengthy draining process um but yeah um, again, uh, they started laying down the sod, so uh, I got some drone footage for a construction update, so you'll see that. The elevator shaft on Tundra Twister as well is nearly complete, so that has been um, awesome. Um, outside of that, they're very close to being done. There's just a little bit of theming on the um, op booth that needs to be finished and the some of the gates on the exit and entrance platforms and a little bit of work on the queue line for the tent above and then obviously putting in the netting for um, Tundra Twister as well. So as we get close to that nearing completion, um, the rock work out front looks nothing like the animation. I don't know if they're fully done, but based off of where the grass, the sod being laid down, um, I think they're done. So it's a little weird just to see some rocks thrown in front of like literally their most beautiful flat ride, um, in the park. So I would have liked to have seen a little more work put into the theming for this ride in front of it um, and I don't see any of the large stones that we saw in the animation as well where in our friend group we joked about um, that's Wonderland seating for eating your meal because there's so little seating at Wonderland um, so <laughs> that was funny um, but yeah outside of that there's been like a welder or a maintenance worker that shows up to the ride every night now just doing a little bit of work on um, the actual ride itself. So I thought that was a little strange, but cool to catch. Um, as you can see here, here's that queue line I was talking about and the sod that has been laid down. You can also see also see where the test seat is gonna go. Um, not quite sure if that is the thing for the test seat or the entrance sign, um, but I have a feeling that little electrical bar coming out of the grass there, the sod, is where the sign for Tundra Twister will go or right next to the, the bottom, or the uh, left side of that queue line that there so um yeah outside of that um not much work on tundra twister but i will tell you around the park there is a lot of work going on getting timberwolf ready for the season as well so they're nearing completion on that um so here's that so they're finishing the lift hill it's got a completely br two brand new chains if you remember the other videos and then all new wood paneling installed, and then an entirely new concrete pad, and then a lot of refurbishment um, on the actual bridge itself, so redoing those footings. If you remember, that bridge was a little uneven in spots. So that's a lot of work going into one ride. Outside of that, Splashworks has received a lot of love this season. So if you look at this, they scraped down all the old paint off of the pools and the flowways of Lazy River and repainted them. And it looks really stunning. Even the bridge got some new paint um, and some obviously new water slide pieces. You can see it right there um, from the fire. And they have finally replaced the netting on the, the mesh going up that lift hill. It also looks like they're doing some work over here as well. So definitely like the uh, continuation of a lot of money and investments being put in. Caught this on the drone, them filling Whitewater Canyon. Yes, you see that 
right there. They are using a fire hydrant to fill Whitewater Canyon. I had always heard this be the case, so it was really funny to see it um, in person on the drone. So Whitewater Canyon is ready for the season. Um, based off of it not having much work done to its trough, I could only expect that this ride is going to receive the Timberwolf treatment um, this off season coming. So uh, I fully expect that for the 2024 season, maybe even a full renovation of Whitewater Canyon to give it some theming like the Knott's Berry Farm treatment uh, for 2024. I could totally see that. Um, over in the Snoopy's Racing Railway, I caught the train running its cycles, so that was cool with the last final touch there. They are cleaned up. They've cleaned up the entire construction site. Um, all the safety signage is up. The main sign there, you can see it, is up. The safety netting under all the walkways that go under the ride is up. And the sod is about 80% laid, just a few more sections to do, and they are done. This ride is training as of tonight, so this was filmed at around 7 p.m., and they were training the regular crew. If you look really close into the station there, you can see them grouped together. Um, so that was really cool to catch. Um, but yeah, essentially that is it. Um, uh, Snoopy's Racing Railway should be open for this weekend. I'm going to say May 19th, it'll be open. Um, I'd be shocked if it's not open this weekend, like actually stunned from what I'm hearing. Um, I'm hearing they're pretty much done training. Um, commissioning of the ride is done. Maybe they're just waiting on TSSA at this point. That could be the final thing. Um, so again, I'd be shocked if it's not open this weekend. Tundra Twister is starting to look a little not too likely. I'm going to hope that tomorrow we see maintenance running the ride. So right now the programmer from Mondial is still programming Tundra Twister. And that is not a good sign because we need to see Wonderland handed over that ride and getting their cycles in to get TSSA approval to open the ride. So again, I'm hearing anywhere from 150 cycles to 500 cycles that Wonderland needs to get on Tundra Twister in order for it to be open. So so we are definitely running out of time, guys, for this weekend. So keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully um, we see some sort of action at Tundra Twister on Wonderland's side. Again, that's what you're looking for. Wonderland maintenance or Wonderland area supervisors running that ride um, for it to open. So I'll keep you guys posted. I should know um, exactly when that's going to happen, when it does happen. Um, I did see a checklist yesterday, but then again, I saw him back programming today. So I'm definitely losing patience here. Um, trying to figure out what's going on over at Tundra Twister with its very long programming. Um, but yeah, that's it for today's construction update. Sorry again for my really, um, lazy tone in the video and not being super, super excited. I am just trying, um, to stay cheerful right now. Um, uh, but yeah, I'll be at the park tomorrow morning. Um, and, um, yeah, Wednesday night and Thursday morning, and then I'll be at the park all weekend, um, and week next week. So thanks so much for watching today's construction update and have a great one guys. Bye.